my head off. Put it right there. See that? Okay. Once I've done that, I take this, rotate it over, and there's the paint. <laughs> Did you say sir? I know I said yes. <laughs> sir. <laughs> so, look at this again. Okay, we're going to do it from he has my wrist. Okay, he strikes. There it is. Okay. Are you already giving up? <laughs> All right, is that? Hey, Dan, you may want to also turn. You want to turn it over this way? Yeah. Okay. All right. He has my wrist. He strikes. Right? I'm guiding him. Right? I don't want to fight him. He's, look, at the, look at his side. If I try to stop him, he's going to hurt me. Okay? So when he strikes, bring him over. Lock him up. Okay? He's already tapping. Alright? Now, you want to increase the pain? You come over this way. And now he can't let go. Right? You come under here. And he's tapping. Okay. All right. Master Pidoy said, sometimes you might want to make a wish. Right. <laughs> That's not today. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, can you show me the first movement? The first, the first movement. Okay. He's striking. Master Pidoy was an old man. So, against him, a 91 year old, he's not going to stop that stick. So, when he strikes, he gets behind the movement. This is where he's at, okay? And he grabs the thumb because this is where the pain is at too, all right? But even though he's down there, he can still defend against this by bending his elbow up. It takes the pain away, right? So when I go to strike, don't stop it. Pass it into there, boom. Now bring your elbow over, nice and easy. Now bring it down. Hold on to your stick and just curl my fingers towards me. There you go. All right, and I'm locked. Okay. <laughs> so let's try that again. Oh, thank you.